My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Hey, we've got a 67 Ford Mustang convertible right here. Beautiful vintage burgundy. Uh, 289 automatic power steering power disc brakes power top it's a driver it's just a good looking get in and drive and enjoy type car it's been the same owner the last 16 or 17 years actually the car was sold at Lyons and Ryan uh, Ford which is still in business I'm pretty sure they're still in business they're only about 10 miles from here uh, we have the two of the original build sheets an original letter from Ford uh, we have some pictures of the restoration. Uh, we've got old receipts and going back to the early 1982 on up through the 90s. Uh, the glove box pouch with Lions and Ryan right on it with the owner's manual. So it comes with some nifty uh, information here. Uh, you can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures top to bottom. And that's where you find the prices on all 200 of the collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But we've got the top down, so join me and let's go for a spin. Like I said in the beginning, it's a driver. It's not a $20,000 paint job. It's an amateur paint job, but the car is solid. It's attractive. You can hop in it, you can eat your McDonald's in there, whatever you want to do. It's a good looking car, but it's not so perfect. You have to be worried about it. Underneath the car was restored. It's all solid. They put in new floor pans, so the torque boxes, the floors, it all looks rock solid. Um, and then they you know, prepped it and they put a light undercoat on it. Uh, looking up at the motor, the front end components, none of it looks brand new, but it was certainly replaced uh, over time, all the components look good and proper. The bottom of the motor is clean. Uh, it has a C4 automatic transmission, a three to one ratio in the rear end, so a nice cruising gear. Uh, it does have dual exhaust system. Uh, the rear shocks were replaced. Uh, disc brakes in front. Uh, so underneath the car is solid, proper, functional, you know, the way it should be. Uh, it is vintage burgundy. It's a beautiful color. It was born vintage burgundy. It does have a white convertible top. Uh, I just asked the photographer. He just got through shooting the car. I said, how's the top? And he said it's the best part of the car. So the top's in excellent shape. And he said it worked real smooth, too. You hit the power top switch. It went down nice and smooth at a good pace. Uh, there's no rust in the body. This is an older paint job, probably 20 years old. They removed any rust. Uh, if, if there was rust, it'd be showing by now. So it's all solid metal. This all fits real nice. It's straight, looks good. It's all, all metal. The paint job is put on decent. You know, they could have prepped the body a little more and sanded it a little better. Uh, the paint does have some little nicks and chips and little imperfections. That's why I said, you don't have to be scared to use it. Some light scratches. There's a chip right here I was looking for. Uh, so it's a, a driver quality, very presentable paint job. You will not be ashamed of it one bit. Same with the bumpers and the tail lights and the gas cap and the grill and the door handles. All of that's good. It shines, it's straight, uh, fits right. None of it's new. Does have a remote mirror. And you probably noticed the upgraded wheels. Those are off a late model Mustang. They're 17 inch. They are in mint condition. They look like new. And it's Eagle ZR45 tires. I noticed the weather strips around the doors are in real nice shape. The interior is really nice. You got some sun fading on the carpet just on the hump there. A little black dye would take care of that, but the carpet's not worn. The seats are in excellent shape. Actually, the cushion feels pretty good. The door handles and arm, uh, door panels and armrests are replaced. Back seat's real nice. Has all the original seat belts. The interior lights are working. The whole dash area is real good. Dash pad, 
I'm sure the trim has been replaced because it's shiny and fresh. He even uh, put the white uh, appliques on the gauges. So all the gauges have the white face. And then there's a mini tachometer on the column, Sun Pro. It has matching gauges down below, like your oil pressure, uh, temperature. Uh, so it does have aftermarket gauges as well. There's also a stereo CD player with two speakers in the back here. And it is a factory air-conditioned car. Uh, the components are removed from under the hood, but it still has the, the controls and vents. If you wanted to put air back in, it wouldn't be that hard to do. I don't want to say you're halfway there, but you're part of the way there already. <clears throat> Inside the trunk compartment looks nice. We had the mat pulled up. Uh, has the insulation pads been replaced on top of the tank? The liner tire covers replaced. Uh, there is a jack. The well liner was replaced when they did the top. The weather strip was replaced. So again, functional, nice looking trunk. The engine is a 289 motor. Uh, there's receipts going back to the 90s. It was rebuilt. And actually, uh, our salesman, prior to this, worked at a repair shop. And this guy would bring it into that shop to get it serviced on a regular basis. So he was good with the oil changes. I can tell the plug wires and the cap look fresh. The motor itself is painted real nice. He put a little bit hotter cam in there uh, recently. I uh, put aluminum Edelbrock intake with an Edelbrock carb. It has an electric choke. Uh, it has finned aluminum valve covers. It's a Mustang. It has the Hypo Chrome air cleaner. Uh, the alternator still has stickers on it. It also features power steering and power brakes. It's an upgraded booster and master. So the brackets here for the AC compressor and the components are just plugged off at the firewall. Everything else looks proper as the horns, the shroud, even the washer bag. Uh, the metal is all clean metal painted a nice satin black. So it's it's better than average in here, not show quality, but it's re very respectable. So there you have it. That's uh, my impression of this one. I, I like to get in and drive them. I'll throw the grandkids, uh, my, my own kids, whatever. Hop in this, go get ice cream. Enjoy it. So go to volocars.com, plenty of ways to talk to the salesman. I just gave you my impression of this car. If you have specific concerns or questions, uh, they'll help you the best they can. They can get this delivered to your driveway. They can help with financing. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.